everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Tuesday the 15th of October and today I'm going to go back to my old friends first of all, the Atlantis cards, just because I feel that it's a nice, um, it's a nice way to get back in contact with our feelings of utopia and what that means and whether that's possible, whether we've done that before as a collective consciousness and what's the energy of it because it does feel a little bit um, as if there is a lot of other stuff going on at the moment but we need to draw our attention again to the positive stuff that's happening around us because there are changes taking place and the card that I've got is excellence, fantastic, I love that card. Um, right, so the feeling that I get about why we've got this card is it's kind of a continuation of something that was mentioned yesterday and it's to do with creative expression, it's to do with the work that we do, the work that we bring and as I talk about this one of my guides is doing some very fine stitching and it just looks beautiful, it looks perfect and the sense that I'm getting about this is to say do what you can do with great care. Do what you can do with great care from your heart and from a very pure and loving place. Give that to the world. It's not, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you have to do something that is going to be, um, gosh, it's really difficult to say this because I also want people to live the biggest vision of what they do. And at the same time, on some level, it feels to me as if that sometimes goes against what people are trying to create when it's something that needs to be kept very simple and pure. And really, if we want to live the biggest vision that we can at this point, for some of us, that big vision is how can I keep my message pure? How can I keep the work that I do pure and beautiful? And sometimes the answer to that is, um, the answer to excellence is simplicity. So if you feel that you've gone outside of a place where you can keep it beautiful, come back to that sense of excellence, of why am I doing this? Why am I doing it in this way? How do I want to do it? It is possible to do it in a grander way, but may, keep checking, keep coming back and checking, am I doing the best work that I possibly can in this way? So I'm going to read the card, and the card says, in Golden Atlantis, inter-community games were frequently organised. People competed for sheer joy and because they enjoyed the challenge. The aim of competition was to develop excellence, excellence, sorry, never for ego gratification. So losers were gracious and sportsmanlike. Even bridle-free, riderless horses raced for the exhilaration and pleasure of it. These were the forerunners of the Olympic Games and they drew communities together to socialise, participate and celebrate. So, again, not wanting to limit anyone's experience at all in any way. I just want to say that this card is a reminder of something that some of us um, might be forgetting. And I want to talk again about the arts. I want to talk again about this culture of fame, I suppose, of wanting to push to get uh, that gratification and rather than coming inside and saying, okay, how can I keep connecting to inspiration and make sure that it's inspiration that guides me, that it's the desire to do the most beautiful work of my life that drives me. So that's the reminder for today. And um, I'm going to read the message on the card, the guidance. It says, if you chose this card, you may be presented with a challenge or responsibility. Accept it and do it graciously to the very best of your ability. It does not matter whether you fail or succeed. Your guidance is to participate with all your heart and soul in whatever life presents to you. So aim to do your best is the message. And the message is also, while aiming to do your best, jump in and experiment and then come back and, and check that you are actually doing your best and also doing your most inspired best. Okay, that's it for today. Gosh, that's kind of um, intricate, but I hope that makes sense to you. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Bye.